the, this man is simply there for uh, scale. You can use to delete that man, or you can choose to leave it there to draw your uh, drawings around him. I like to delete that man, so I'm just going to select and press delete. If you do not have this side toolbar, what I want you to do is click on view, toolbars, and large tool set. Okay, now what, what I'm going to do is on the square, I'm just going to draw on the horizontal plane a random size square and I want to show you when when I hold down the, the wheel on my mouse not pushing the wheel not pushing the wheel back or forth just actually holding and pushing the wheel down I can rotate around the object so you can imagine this is like a piece of paper sitting on a table that you're about to draw on, on the horizontal plane you can spin all the way around from any angle um, I'm just showing you basic skills this is why a mouse is much easier you can then use the the wheel on the mouse and just zoom in and out pressing on this hand button the pan panning can can take the your drawing sideways across the page or up and down as well okay now what I want to do is um, I'm going to show you the basics of drawing a house. Now what we're going to do on the toolbar at the top there's many different tools there you can go through and learn. On this tutorial we're just keeping it very basic. We will learn some of these other ones here on future tutorials. Here push it's called push pull which you click on that and when you come over to to your drawing you'll see okay when you see those blue dots I want you to hold down your left mouse button and pull it up. Okay? You can spin it around and you can see that you then have like a rectangular prism shape. Okay? Now if I if I want to change any part of my drawing and undo, I can edit, undo, push pull and take you back to the last part. Now I'm I'm going to change the design a little, so I'm going to put like an extra little room onto my house here. So I'm going to bring it out like so. All right, panning across and zooming in is just simply two two rectangles there. I can hit on the erase button, and I'm going to erase that center line. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to pull this up. Let's zoom out so we can see. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to, I'm going to get it on an, an angle which are, where I can zoom in. And I'm going to get this button here called Offset. Offset will allow me to try a shape the same as the one that is there inside. Okay, so I can click on the edge and you'll see it, it just it just brings it into any size you want there. So I'm just I'm drawing the external walls here, obviously. So I'm just clicking on like that. Okay. Then I'm going to zoom around. You can see now m quite magically. I'm going to now use the push pull button, and I'm going to push this section down. Okay. Quite often you'll see you can easily go too far and push it go right through to the floor like so you don't want to do that because you can see straight through and you need a floor section there so what we can do is edit undo take it back to where it was and we need to zoom in to a section to a wall and we're going to push it down and you can zoom in a little push it down a little more zoom in push it down and generally speaking, I'd be happy to stop about there, but you may want to take it down a little further until you know it's actually too far, and then you can bring it up just a little and you know that it's fine. Now when you zoom back out, you have a standard room or a house with a floor underneath. Now next, what we're going to do is we're going to add some uh, windows and add some doors. Now, simply click on the square button, zoom in, we'll just put the windows in randomly. You're going to draw them on the outside, and you're going to push through. 
and you should be able to then see through and see internal parts of your building. You can then zoom in if you want your building, uh, your window bigger, push it down, push it sideways, make it smaller, etc. So we can do that. Make sure your windows are at the same height. You can put windows around your building, push them through, etc. all the way. Now to add a door, what I'm going to do is the, the doors are, are best drawn from the inside and pushed out. The reason for that is if you look, the floor is actually higher than the ground. So if you were to draw a door on the outside and push that through, you will see it actually hits the floor there. So what, what is the best, the best thing to do is uh, come around into the room, draw a door from the ground, from the floor up, and then you push it through. Let's make a little step. So continue to do that, putting as many windows and doors as you want onto your house, onto your room, and then we move on to adding colour. Now to add colour, you simply click on this yellow, this paint bucket. I'm going to add brick and cladding to the outside, a brick house, and I like the look of that one. And the paint bucket here is you simply click on the parts you like. So if I don't like that, I click on the next one and it changes and so forth. So easy, you continue to do it until you see the ones you like. That one looks fine, so I'm going to continue to do that. You can see when I'm zooming in and out by scrolling the wheel on my mouse, I can zoom in to specifically where I put the cursor. So for example, if I want to put the paint onto this part of the wall, I zoom in according to there and put it on. I can zoom out, put the cursor there, zoom in, touch it, zoom out and so on. So what I'm going to do is, sorry, is draw come around to a top view, spin it so I can see, draw a square or a rectangle shape around to any size which you wish. You can see it's on the horizontal plane so it shows it's, on, it's in the correct place. We're going to come here and we're going to go to vegetation and choose a grass. Okay from there you can draw other features such as a fence. So again I'm going to draw, it doesn't matter with the size of it, we can draw it big and, and push and pull it all in later. So draw a square, a rectangle sorry, down there, lift it up to fence height roughly, push it in, let's zoom in and see if it's sufficient. down a little and then go to paint fencing and try the different types of fencing and there you have a basic house with garden and fence.